Hi guys, me again. Uh, just doing an update on the group build and the brum bar. Uh, lower hull's done, as you can see. Uh, not too many problems. Not for a dragon anyway. Only one set of parts were mislabeled on the completely wrong sprue. And that's one of the joys of this kit, is how many sprues were involved. There's a couple of different A's. As you can see, the primary A, the secondary A, uh, and of course the toe pins weren't even on the A sprue, although they're labeled as being there, they were on the D sprue. And of course there's two D sprues to really help. I think next time I get a kit like this, I'm going to put blue tape somewhere on the blue sprue, because they do use the different colors, let's see if we can find them, for the secondary sprues. Let's see if this will focus. They do use the blue color coding to indicate their blue A sprue over there. So next time I'm going to put some blue tape or some blue paint on the blue sprues to actually indicate that and save myself a little bit of grief. The other uh, issue I had with the instructions, aside from the one parts being mislabeled, was the, the tracks are done. The instruction said it's 130 links, and it's nowhere near that. It's about 110 or 112. So they're way off there. I don't know what they were thinking. And they actually include about 140 with for each side. But uh, this is actually my jig, and this is what I used to put together in the pen or indie links. Uh, first thing I normally do is use a seamstress's tape measure and with the wheels on I'll actually get a diameter or circumference of what it should be. Uh, on this one it came out to 14 and 3 quarters and then I'll transfer that over to the jig and part of the reason I make this out of foam core or I, it works being out of foam core is I can set a pin to mark where I want to end so I don't put together too much. As it turns out, this one went right to the end, didn't need to do that. Uh, again, I used foam, foam core just to build this as sort of a prototype and I'm sticking with it. It's just two layers of foam core as a base and the top layer that I made sure this is extremely straight and I put some extra masking tape over it just because I figure the Tamiya Extra Thin is not going to do that foam core any good if it does leach through into there. And I just lay it all out. Uh, for me, the added benefit is I can shift this forward as I work. I can start at a short distance as I assemble things, I don't know if you're seeing, and I can keep moving this forward. Uh, and so long as I don't really bash it, everything stays in place. Then once I've got the length I need, I apply the glue, uh, I wait 15 minutes, and then I throw it on there. The other trick I have regarding the tracks, uh, I think I mentioned this before, hopefully you see it. I take a little bit of the wire from your garbage twist ties, strip it off so it'll fit in nicely, and put it through the upper outside front on each track. It doesn't really get in the way of painting or anything else like that, but it means instantly I can tell which track goes where. I don't worry about getting them backwards or right side wrong, anything like that. Same thing on this one. So they just go together like that. That's their positions. Easy peasy. I don't have to worry about getting them backwards and trying to fit uh, what should be over the drive wheel, over the return wheel, or anything like that. It uh, just helps me keep my own head straight. And I'd probably lose my own head if it wasn't attached. So this is, you know, everybody's got these things kicking around from garbage bags. And probably don't use them like I do. I don't use them to, attack, to seal the garbage. I just tie the garbage bags with the top corners. So there's tons of these things kicking around. And why not use them? Let me put this out of the way. And all the wheels are done. Uh, all the parts. 
this container was for fast food. I hold on to these things and just clean them out and degrease them. And it keeps everything in one spot but still separate. And the gun itself is done. I've got to do the mounting brackets and everything else for it. And I tried with the camera and I can't pick it up. It's a one piece barrel and it's actually rifled on the inside. And I, I can't get the camera to pick it up. Uh, if you can see it right now, I'd be surprised. But it's a uh, nice little barrel. I don't think it really took them that much effort to make the thing. It's only yay long. Yeah. The barrel stops about there. So uh, Wheels are done. No surprises with the dragons. Uh, one thing I am happy with, normally in sections like this, where there's three pieces, I find dragon tells you, and dragon tells you in the first step, put this plate on. And then it's three or four steps later, these pieces go on. And I put them on all at the same time because I've had problems with dragons where this one, there's nothing other than just being a f you know, flat there to tell you it's in the right spot. They did put mounting pins on the sander piece. It's got pins underneath there into the main hull so you can fit it. Uh, but I left it. Parts like that now with dragons, I'll do all at once. Just because I've had problems where I've put a part like this where I think it's supposed to be, and three or four days later when I go to mount the other parts, I found out I put the first one in the wrong spot. Thanks, dragon bastards. Uh, but this one went together nicely so far. I've still got the majority of it to do. And the other thing I'll pass along, I was watching Cohen with his new paint collection, you lucky bastard. Uh, with those ones, I'll show you here, I keep my paints in the old keyboard drawer. Uh, and it's not so much, I can see the colors. You know, I can see that's a red or whatever. But what I did, I found with the eye drop bottles, is that little dimple on top. I just put a little spot of paint in there. So that, uh, not only can I see what color it is, but I can see what it'll actually dry to. Because I've got a couple of, that's gunmetal blue, that's oily steel, I've got one or two other silver ones, gunmetal gray. Now these two, to look at the bottles, uh, you probably can't pick it up on the camera. This one's slightly lighter and grayer, or lighter, and this one's a little bit darker. But by having it on top dried, I can tell what they're going to look like once they've dried. Uh, helps me out a little bit. Saves a little bit of disappointment when they, they change colors as they dry. And I'm slowly doing that with them as I use them. It's, you know, single drop, put it aside, put it back on. And some of these have been on for a couple of weeks now, and they're not wearing off. And even if they do, hopefully it'll just be on the edges and not in the actual dimple itself. So, you know. Make of that what you will. Enjoy. Uh, that's how far I am with the build just now. And I'll give you an update when I get a little bit further along. Take care. Have a good night. Bye.